and welcome. Today I'm bringing you a, a few verses out of Isaiah today. And who am I? Well, I'm just a man bringing you the words from Isaiah today. <laughs> um, behold, and this is just to let you know, reference chapter 52, um, verses 13, 14, and 15. And that's what we're going to be reading today. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extorted, and be very high, <coughs> very high, as many were astonished at thee, and that's talking about how astonished they were at Israel, um, captivity and all that. His vessel, probably butchered that name, that word so badly, was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. And this is basically when he's going on the crucifixion. This is a prophecy about what's going to happen with Christ. And, yeah, he's just being battered so badly that he's basically, it's, that's what it's saying. It's like, so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. That's just how bad the beating and the cruelty was to him. That <clears throat> they're was no form to him that was recognizable as a man, if you would, because he was just so badly beaten for the sins of the world. <clears throat> and so shall he sprinkle many nations. The king shall shut their mouths at him, for that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. And many people in the world had not heard, probably, of Christ dying on the cross. They heard of God. Here's the thing. God has been exalted high because of what he has done. He is worthy to judge the world just for the merit of how badly the scriptures say that he was beaten for our sins. He bore our sins. I mean, that left a mark on him. And I have witnesses myself, but those that have seen Jesus tell me a surefire way to know if it's not the devil imitating. It's like, there's the uh, mark, you know? in his hands that he still bears today. You know, um, it's kind of a hard thing to consider, but this is what Christ did for us, for our sins. Will you consider becoming a Christian for those that aren't a Christian? You know, I'm just laying that eye out there right now. He, he was beaten, bruised, Tortured, whipped, mocked, spit on, just for us. For we gotta just humble ourselves because he went through a great ordeal. I mean, he's God, King of the Universe. He made us, but you know, there's certain laws and things that are in place in the universe that he set up himself and you know he was the fulfillment of the law he says you know the law brings death but he was the fulfillment of that law and so he died in our place and if we are in Christ that punishment has already been paid for and so through the law we are redeemed because Christ is the fulfillment of that law. And, you know, just kind of lead you on prayer right now. If you haven't been saved, you want to get saved, you want Christ in your life right now, let's just pray a prayer. Lord, I don't know where the people are right now that are watching this, but I just pray right now, Lord, that you would just comfort them. Lord, we repent of our sins, Lord. Those that are out there that want to come to Christ, I know they got to repent of their sins. Repent of your sins, Lord. We repent. We are sorry for our sins, Lord. 
We're going to turn away. We're going to try to do the best we can right now with what little strength that you have given us to walk in your way, Lord. Lord, just redeem us. Cleanse us of our sins, Lord. Let us walk with you for the rest of our lives. For we know it's not a simple just get out of hell. It's a relationship with you, Lord, that we're seeking. Because we know there is no peace on earth without you, Lord. And let that peace guide us in the directions of our lives, Lord. Take us as we are. For we know that you were beaten and bruised so badly for us, Lord. And we thank you. And we thank you, Lord, for what you have done. And for the mercies that you have poured out, Lord. And we give your name and your glory, Lord. Sorry for it, Lord. I'm sorry for the sins I have committed. Lord, just forgive us. Forgive us of our sins. Baptize us with your spirit. And Lord, let it just flow from your throne. Comfort us. Kneel down with us in our tears and our sorrows, Lord, and lift us up and exalt us. Lord, we are not worthy, but we know that you are faithful and that you will exalt us in due time. When it is time and the season for it, Lord, our sins have been washed away and that we are able to stand with you in heaven because our sins are washed away. And Lord, we give you thanks and the honor in all these things. We glorify your name. We praise your name for eternity and let our hearts sing towards you. Amen. Amen.